Oh, 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 hi there, everybody. Uh, it's me, Stuffy Cat, and welcome to the third ever Stuffy Cat Direct. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, it might be a little late into February and all of that, but in the end, I'm quite excited for this, and as you can see, the illuminated Stuffy Cat is still here to bring you some epic content. Now, if you were still wondering what a direct is and all of that jazz, well, let me explain it to you. A direct is basically a series of trailers or teasers for upcoming content for a specific creator. Uh, originally brought to the public eye, basically, I'm pretty sure, from Nintendo and their Nintendo directs, taking direct inspiration off, the, off of the N Nintendo directs, but yeah. Um, I'm quite sure that we have more than five things to announce this direct. So I hope you're hyped and I hope you're ready because we're going to get straight into it with our first item of the direct. Let's go. Oh, hey everybody. Yeah, it's me, Stuffy Cat, again. And I'm here to talk to you about the first item of the Direct, which is actually a pretty special one to me. You see, if you've noticed lately, um, our subscriber count has increased from a whopping 50 to 100 subscribers. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so happy and thankful for all of you guys contributing to the cause. All of those subscribers out there, I would just like to thank you individually. Sadly, I can't. I'm going to try to do my best right here. So, anyways, as you may or may not have also realized, there was a 100 subscriber special that was actually customizable and interactive. Yes. It was the you can create your own customizable plush or whatever the heck that video was. I, it's not like I make it or anything, but yes, that is the hundred subscriber special. I thought I needed to do something crazy and great for you guys because you did something crazy and great for me. So first off, I would just like to thank you well for a hundred subscribers. It really means the it really means a lot to me and I'm just so incredibly blessed to have all of you guys now other creators might be confused as to why I'm so thankful for a hundred subscribers when they have thousands or maybe even millions but hundred subscribers for me are they hate they hold the same weight as a thousand and you might think that you don't have a lot to say or do because you subscribed like it's no big deal right because i'm a small creator and not too many subscribers but it actually does mean a lot so i would just like to thank all of you who subscribed who've helped out the channel and who's been there but without that with that out of the way for this portion of the direct, we're actually going to be announcing the plush that I have chosen from that video. Now, I would like to say, sadly, the video was, uh, how do I say this? A little underwhelming in comments. Obviously, all of those who commented and were, like, gave just amazing ideas, I would just like to thank you all very much. Those three being, um, oh no, of course I forgot. I tried to memorize your guys' names, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, um, those would be Handy Mario Bros, Logan Miller, and You Know Who. Yes, that's his actual channel name. It's actually pretty cool if you think about it. Uh, yes, all three of you guys actually gave real and genuine responses. The other two, I'd say, gave meme responses, but I guess, cool. Anyways, 
uh, it was actually quite difficult for me to choose between these three, and I would just like to start out this whole entire thing before I announce anything at all with saying just thank you for the responses. You guys have obviously been with me the longest, and if you haven't, you supported me the most. So I would just like to thank you all. Even if your submission does not get picked, it was hard for me to. It was hard for me to pick a good submission out of the three great ones that I got. So if you're one of those uh, people out there whose submission did not get picked, I do not want you to feel bad. I do not want you to feel discouraged or anything like that. It's not you, it's me. I... I just don't want you to feel bad because your submission wasn't picked. I know that it really stinks when you have a submission, you really think it's going to do well, and then it does not get picked. That does not mean that I do not value you or your ideas. No, it just means that I thought a different submission was cooler in my eyes. So that's nothing wrong with your submission or anything like that. Anyways... I think I've done enough talking. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. And thank you to those three people out there who actually gave genuine responses. Handy Mario Bros, Logan Miller, and you know who. So, without further ado, let's choose. Let me tell you who is the ultimate winner of that video and the ultimate video winner not video winner the ultimate custom plush winner out of those three the one whose idea I decided to choose above the other two will it be handy Mario Bros Logan Miller or maybe you know who well I would just like to say the plush that I decided is Kerbor by Handy Mario Bros. We have a little concept picture right here. Like I said before, please do not feel bad because you guys did not um, get picked. Your, your submissions were really good, okay? It was really hard to pick between them. But I just thought that Handy Mario Bros was the most available and, uh, yeah. So... This is Kerbor. As you can see, this is just my little concept photo on how I thought he would look. And also just some of his attributes. For example, he's slow, he's scared of heights, he has wings, and he loves pie, watching Among Us videos, and playing Animal Crossing. He's British, and... And he's a trickster. Ooh. Kerbor, is, this is what I generally thought for Kerbor's design. Now, Handy Mario Bros, if you're watching this, and I'm guessing that you are, uh, if you could just give me a yes or no on some of the parts of the design, that would be great, because soon enough, I'm going to be making a video turning this Kirby plush that I bought into this, hopefully. So, yeah. Handy Mario Bros, if there's anything that you'd like to change or anything like that, just put it in the comments. And of course, to those other two who submitted, and all of the subscribers, I would just like to thank you as well. To those who submitted, I am very sorry that your submission did not get picked, but who knows? Maybe that means that your submission will get picked in the future, or a different submission of yours. Anyways, that is the 100 subscriber special. Oh my gosh, this is taking a lot longer than it needed to. Okay. Uh... Yes, that is right. That is the 100 subscriber special uh, announcement and all of that. And, oh. Um... Yeah, very interesting, and as I said, thank you to all of those who participated, and all of those subscribers. Um, I could not have done it without you. 
And last but not least for that, um, as I also said, there will also be a video sometime soon of me turning that Kirby plush that I bought into, you know, Kerbor. So, yeah, that's about it. And anyways, for the next subject of matter, let's get into, uh, an interesting route. I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let Frisk go. Just let him go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you're if you keep going the way you're going now, you're gonna have a bad time. Wow, that was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's so crazy, right? That's gonna be awesome, that's gonna be crazy, that's gonna be crazy, you know? You know what I'm saying? Right, guys? Sorry. Uh, yeah, that is the Undertale Genocide Run, or No Mercy Run, route that is being announced. I'm quite excited for that, and, uh, if you did not know, this was from a poll that was taken a long time ago on the Community tab, where I said that I had just finished the Pacifist Run, and I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to do a Genocide Run, and you guys said yes, or at least one of you did. So, I will be doing that soon, no predetermined date, just like the last. It will just be coming soon, alright? Alright. Well, now time to get on to the next subject of matter, which is... A continuation of something that happened last direct? Huh, interesting. Well guys, in case you knew or didn't know, Battle for the Victory Plush Island is already halfway done. Can you believe it? Yeah, I've had a lot of fun so far. I think the challenges are what, well, and it looks like you guys kind of enjoy the Battle for the Victory Plush Island series. So, I would just like to announce that obviously we're in the last half of the Battle for the Victory Plush Island challenges and whatnot i'm quite excited for these challenges and that these challenges could even be a lot cooler and more crazy than the last battle for the victory plush island challenges with less contestants makes for uh more opportunities i'm quite excited for this but wait a wait if if there's less contestants, then... Wait a minute. What if there was a second chance for those eliminated contestants? What if... What if there was... A rejoin? Wow, that was pretty jarring, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. But, uh, yes, that is the announcement for, um, the last stretch, the final stretch of the Battle for the Victory Plush Island, uh, episodes. And, yes, there will be an episode of a contestant being able to rejoin. Okay, this, this lighting thing is really getting on my nerves. There we go. And yes, there will be a rejoining contestant episode where 
all of those contestants over there that were shown get to have a chance at going through another challenge and possibly redeeming themselves, letting them come back into the Battle for the Victory Plush Island franchise. Yes, that's going to be very interesting, and as the other ones, these are just mini announcements. Don't worry, we'll get to the actual trailers quite soon. Alright, well, let's get to the next one, which is uh, collectively pretty cool. Wow. It's been a while, hasn't it? It truly has. Isn't it? That one wasn't in the last one. Huh. That... Hmm. That one wasn't in the last one, then. What's the... What's stopping me from fixing that? Hmm? The last one that I made was two years ago. That would be a real change, wouldn't it? What one, you're asking? Oh, simple. A, pl a plush collection, of course. <laughs> I think it's time for a change. Wow, can you believe that announcement? So cool, right? Yes, that is the announcement for another plush collection. Yeah, I know it could have been cooler. I, 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 I know, okay. Yes, that is the announcement for another plush collection of mine. Yes, I'm gonna do another one, guys. The last plush collection that I made was technically this Thanksgiving, but that was not a collection. Uh, that was actually more of a presentation, and the actual collection, where I go one by one with each of my plushes, will actually be coming this summer of 2023, preferably around July or August or possibly September. Yes, the Stuffy Cat Plush Collection 2023. I'm very excited for this, and I feel like it's gonna do pretty well. There are a lot of new plushes that I have not, uh, you know introduced and all that so yeah that is the plush collection uh, teaser now it's finally time to get on to the real trailers and announcements yes i know we're already 20 minutes in i'm sorry you're doing great all right well what the heck okay whatever anyways it's time to go into uh a Another continuation of something that happened last time? That was teased? And... And... Question mark... Question mark? Huh? That's insane! Did you did you see that, guys? Yeah. Oh, why change of scenery? Cause, eh, you wouldn't be able to not notice. Anyways, um, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're gonna get another Among Us plush question mark. Now, yes, there was no title screen, blah blah blah, but I thought it was pretty knowable. And yes, that means we are having Among Us plush question mark question mark. Yes, I am keeping up this name because why not? I am quite excited. What? Oh, he just wanted to promote his channel. How nice. Anyways, um, 
Yeah. <sighs> Among Us plus question mark question mark is going to be awesome. As you saw that there there are going to be 15 crew members and there will be three imposters. Now, I've worked very hard on this Among Us plush question mark question mark, and I'm looking forward to it a lot. I feel like it's going to be pretty fun, and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Anyways, let's get into, uh, another continuation? Oh, it's not that simple, I guess. Maybe it's more than it looks like when you're looking at it. Maybe there is more than just what's seen on the surface. Hmm. I remember being in the living room or something and I casually had my phone. At the time of the dream, I was three days away from getting back to the gym and I'm looking place. for something. I have it and I'm casually messing around with it. Across many different toys. And I also remember but my mom and dad being super shocked and asking like they would. What? You found your phone? Where did you find it? I don't remember exactly where I found it in the dream. I just remember that I found it somewhere in the truck. And then I woke up. Isn't that so cool, guys? So cool indeed. Yeah? No? Well, I thought it was cool. Just like how I'm gonna think that this iceberg is cool. Yes, this is the announcement or trailer for... Oh no, I forgot to say what time the Among Us plush question mark question mark is going to come out. Um, that will be either late February or sometime in March. All right? All right. So, this announcement is pretty epic in my opinion. This one, as you may have picked up, is the announcement or trailer for the Dream Iceberg. My personal dreams. Now, I uh, I really like the concept of dreams, and I, I, I just really enjoy dreams in general. I really like the idea and really like how they can sometimes symbolize things, and yeah. <laughs> But this trailer was for my own personal dream iceberg. Yes, that will be coming out sometime this summer of 2023, and I'm quite excited for it, as I have expressed to you guys already. This dream iceberg will have five different layers, and yes, they will be ranked in not obscurity like my other um, iceberg, but instead in how off the tone was. So yes, there will obviously be some disclaimers for that, but yes, I am super duper excited for this. I mean, if you guys didn't already notice, I, I'm just so excited for this, and I just really feel like this is gonna be a great thing, and uh, just uh, overall, I just really, really, wait, whoa, whoa! Ludwig. It's been three weeks. I... I know this has been hard for you. No, it's okay. I've gotten used to it by now. Guys, he's an imposter! I feel like Ludwig and his friends. They are plotting something. the party's over, isn't it? Whoa there! What an interesting thingy, right? Exit full screen. I don't want to leave yet. <laughs> well guys, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Now yes, this was not a trailer. This was a teaser for... The Backroom Season 3. Yes, it is confirmed. I am going to be doing Backroom Season 3, and I hope it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it, and I hope you guys are too. 
If you're not, and you think the backroom should have ended back at season one, then I agree. But I also think that the backrooms has potential for season three. Now, backroom season three is going to be really special because, well, the backroom season three is going to be two times as long as any of the other seasons. All of the other seasons were just 10 episodes long. The backroom season three will be 20 episodes long. Two times the content, two times the character development, and two times all of that fun. I'm very excited for the backroom season three, although this was just a teaser for it. And the reason why this is only a teaser is because this, the Backroom Season 3, is likely going to come out sometime in 2024. I don't even know what kind of season it's going to be, spring, summer, fall, I don't know. But it's going to probably come out sometime in 2024 because, well, the Backrooms needs a rest for a while. Yes, I know that some people thought that Backroom Season 2 was not as good as Season 1. I get that. But I feel like Backroom Season 3 could possibly be even better than both of the seasons combined. I'm pretty excited for this. And it looks like we're almost to the last announcement of the trailer. How have you guys been having fun? Have you haven't been having fun? Yeah, I agree. We should probably just get on to the last thing. Which is actually kind of interesting because it is continuing something that we had last time but instead of a teaser for it that was at the end we're gonna get a trailer oh yeah it's time for the dark storyline movie trailer Get out of here! Get out of here! I can take him! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Orange Yoshi, leave! I got this! <sighs> Dark Bowser, if you don't mind me asking, why are you chasing these guys anyways? <sighs> it's because I'm responsible for them. I created that dark super soldier serum, and now they're going to use it to hurt everybody. I, I can't let this turn into another drag Bowser Jr. scenario. I can't. I got to stop it before it gets anywhere. Or else. Oh. Oh, wait. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, sorry. 
Wowie wow wow wowie wow. That was quite the trailers, wasn't it? <laughs> Those were, I guess. Well guys, that was the Stuffy Cat Direct. Yes, it was past 25 minutes. Let's be real. It's all it always is. Alright. Well, that was the upcoming Stuffy Cat Direct. I hope you're excited for the dark storyline trailer because it just came out. In case you were wondering, the dark storyline movie will be called Out of the Shadows. And that was the trailer for it. I'm quite excited for that movie and I feel like it's going to do really well. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this direct. And also in case you were wondering, that's going to come out sometime this spring, possible summer. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed the direct. If you watched, thank you for watching. It means a lot. I'm really excited to uh, be announcing all of these things in this direct. I hope there isn't any audio lag or anything annoying like this, because this was a lot of work to put in. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed, and uh, thank you for watching, as always. <sighs> what, what are you most excited for? Maybe you could put that in the comments? Maybe you could even subscribe. That'd be interesting, right? Eh? 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 Eh. <sighs> Worth a shot. Anyways, thank you for watching, and see you. <laughs>